Steve Bell. I'm at the TU Automotive Consumer Telematics Show in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by Eric Akuden and also Carolyn Chen from Ericsson and from Intel. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for taking the time. You just uh, were part of a panel uh, presentation on the Automotive Edge Computing Consortium, AECC. Carolyn, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so AECC, we just had announced our soft launch, is a cross-industry consortium really focusing on solving the big data issue in a connected car. As we know, uh, connected cars can generate tons of data, and some of the data needs to be resolved uh, uh, fixed, uh, executed locally. Right. Some of the relevant ones need to be brought to the cloud. So we try to apply the cloud computing and plus the network edge compute uh, in, uh, principle to effectively solving the big data uh, that's looming into the connected car industry. So this is leveraging both networks and the cloud compute. Mm -hmm. And so, so can you talk a little bit about the, the network aspect of that? Mm -hmm. I mean, how does that come in? Well, I think uh, the networks have for a number of years been more horizontalized, more open, more software defined. So the SDN and NFV technologies allow us to run network workloads anywhere in the network. Uh, centrally or more distributed all the way out in the base station. Now we're opening up this platform, the distributed cloud, pl cloud platform, also to workloads from the outside, IoT workloads, media workloads, and certainly here we're talking about uh, in the transportation, in the car uh, data area. So the platform is a distributed platform and it's open also for, for these workloads. And so how does this fit with the sort of the emerging cellular vehicle to X so, so much of this is very complementary. The industry is working with a number of standards initiatives and, and fora initiatives to basically leverage what comes out of the mainstream technologies, mainstream technologies on the access side, mainstream technologies on the cloud side and on the transport side. So I would say they're very complementary. What this group is trying to work out is how to use, use this distributed infrastructure, whether it's nationally, internationally, and how it can be used uh, for big data, that's what it's trying to do. And you mentioned um, adjacencies and learning from adjacent industry. Yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of other activity around edge. Why Why does it need a new consulting? I mean, what's the, so what's the driver? It, it, it well, so if you look at it this way, so uh, Ericsson and Intel has been participating in a lot of 5G trials yes. and also looking at using distributed cloud edge computer to solve some of the vertical issues. We jointly announced an uh, initiative in the Silicon Valley solving the industrial, 5G industrial uh, solution. So we do a lot of the, the trials and proof of concept together. So the learning there is really fundamental to driving a very specific auto, a connected car automotive industry, which is the big data, some of the AI, some of the in, in, uh, inference learning. Uh, but one thing, key component is what uh, Eric just mentioned, is the fact that the network today is much softer. We are able to provide something called network slicing to take different vertical data and solve it based on the vertical needs. So that's what I meant. The different verticals we've done in the past, none of that is lost. One brought that into an automotive. Automotive has its own unique challenges, security. Right. right, and it needs to be uh, it needs to be very secure and also just high risk if you are autonomous driving and so on. All of that I issues needs to be solved holistically from a cross industry perspective. So the learning we've done in the past, along with Ericsson, in some of the proof of concept and trial, we're going to brought that in into AECC. That's one of the reasons why we're asking for multi -ind industry consortium rather than just one automotive industry. So, it, I mean, there are a lot of connected car consortiums as well. So, you know, the um, so are they is this aligned with this? I mean, how how does this get coordinated, or is it just a, a separate a separate one? Do you think? I think they're complementary. As I said, mm -hmm. I think they uh, all try to come with different use cases and different angles, and uh, in the end. Perhaps they, they, they will come together even more than, than we see today. Um, but what was mentioned here is really that this is meant to be an iterative process where we leverage what's happening in the other standards bodies, 3GPP when it comes to 5G, NR, the just recently launched or right. released, yeah. I should released. say, yeah. uh, uh, standard, and many other bodies. So we can feed it uh, 
sort of, uh, what, what you find out in these uh, experiments or what you find out in these use cases in AEC can be fed back into standardization and vice versa. So yeah. Standardization can so be built, built on use cases, I'm built sure. Built on use cases. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and what's the timeline for, for this? I mean, you have soft launch today. What's, mm. uh, what's the next sort of steps? I, I believe the formal launch is coming. Uh, we have a website now up and running. Yeah. There's a drawn paper between all of the participants, the board members. It's up and um, we believe that uh, in the near future we'll be doing a formal launch. Yes, uh, absolutely, and it's, it's open, so open. basically yeah. anyone can So, can in, apply. And if I remember correctly, it was, um, there were app providers, big data and cloud providers, mm. um, the auto industry and mobile carriers as well. Is that, Correct. That's the sort of that's the intent to, yeah. to exactly to, to be broad and again it's open, uh, open information but also it's open to contribute in, in all these areas. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. me.